What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another episode of this Manchester United FM 22 beta save. We're in season two, we've kicked off the first month of the season, we've made our new signings of just under 200 million pounds spent. And things are going unbelievably well. We are flying at the top of the Premier League, we've had our Champions League group draw, let's dive into it and I can catch you up on what you've missed. So first things first, guys, I want to talk about our Champions League group. We have been drawn in Group H alongside Dortmund, Ajax and FC Michelin from uh, Denmark, I believe. Norway, Denmark, Denmark. There we go. I was right the first time. It even says it there, Steve. Open your eyes, man. Um, Yeah, so we go into Group H. Um, it should be relatively straightforward. I will say Dortmund uh, no longer have Erling Haaland. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Erling Haaland is now playing as football at Manchester City. Uh, I do have to shout out Jude Bellingham, who I think is going to be the best player in, in this year's FM from what I've seen of him already. They do have Makoko up top on, alongside Donald, uh, Donald Marlin. Um, so it's going to be an interesting one, but I'm not too, too worried about Dortmund. Ajax, again, not too worried. We had them last season and we kind of smoked them, to be perfectly honest. So, um, so let's jump into the schedule. And show you guys what you've missed thus far. You were here for the 2-2 uh, the two -two draw with Liverpool in the Community Shield before beating them on penalty. Since then, we've started our Premier League campaign and we've been pretty flawless so far. Uh, we played Brentford. We beat them 3-1. We beat Norwich 5-0. Crystal Palace 3-0. Chelsea 1-0. Uh, Leeds 4-0. Brighton 3-1. And then Everton 1-0. Now, you'd think, right... Looking at all these games and these results, bearing in mind we've only conceded two goals, we'd be top of the league. Well, not. Liverpool are top of the league. We've both played seven and won seven. Let me expand the full table there. We've actually got identical goal difference as well, uh, which is really, really interesting. Uh, both scored 20 goals, both conceded two goals uh, with that plus 18 goal difference, 21 points. It's crazy out here. Liverpool are ridiculous. Liverpool are ridiculous, but... We don't even have anyone in the top goal scorers in terms of the player stats. As you can see, our first top goal scorer isn't even inside here in the top eight at all. Lukaku's top goal scorer with eight goals. Uh, Mitrovic got seven. Harry Kane is on six. Erling Haaland is on six. And then Mo Salah's on six. Jota is on four. That is because we've been sharing the goals around a lot, to be perfectly honest. If I jump into the tactic, just so you can see where the goals are on the right-hand side. We've got Greenwood with four. We've got Ronaldo with four and Mbappe with five. Uh, Bruno's got three. Milinkovic Savage has got three. skriniar has got uh, two as well. I just need to get this team ready for this game against Arsenal. We are taking on Arsenal, a team that did beat us last season. Uh, we beat them at home and then lost quite badly away from home. Uh, in terms of the Premier League, where are Arsenal in the table? It is second versus fourth. Uh, they've had two draws. They drew at home against Chelsea and Man City and they've lost away. Uh, they've lost the game. Sorry, they lost at home to Liverpool. So Liverpool have played some interesting teams already then. They've beaten Man City. They've beaten Arsenal. Some very interesting teams in there to, to beat Man City like that comfortably is, is a slight worry. It's a slight worry. We are going to get into this game against Arsenal, though. This is the team. This is pretty much what I've kind of set myself on. Uh, De Gea, Wambasaka, Skriniar, Varane, Shaw, Rice, Bruno, um, Milinkovic, Savage, Greenwood, Ronaldo, and Kylian Mbappe. Ronaldo is wanted, I've just clocked, by Real Madrid. Um to be honest, he's not been playing that well this season so far. So maybe a game against Arsenal at Old Trafford is the time for Cristiano to step up to the plate and deliver the goods. Um, Kylian Mbappe has been pretty good since he signed. He is our top goal scorer with five goals in all competitions. I've just noticed Arsenal uh, have bought Wilfred and Didi, but they're not playing him. Uh, looks like Smith Rowe comes back into the team. They're, obviously, they do have Cavani, Bernadeschi, uh, and that is it of players that they've bought. Uh, obviously buying Cavani off of ourselves. Um, I'm going to say the media have given you a lot of credit, so go out there and put on a worthy display. That seems to have motivated a decent number of the boys. Obviously, we are unbeaten this season. Played 7-1, 7 in the league. Um, now, is, now is a real test. Chelsea was a real test. We got a player sent off in that game against Chelsea. Uh, Luke Shaw got himself sent off just before we were about to substitute him. But we did have to worry last year about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang on that left-hand side, cutting in, ghosting in, and scoring headers at the far post. Um, so that is something we need to watch out for this year. Obviously, we've only conceded two goals all season, uh, one against Brentford, one against Brighton. So I'm hoping we can power through and defence be strong. 
Uh, Cavani not having a good start to the game. No highlights thus far in the first 30 minutes. We do like look like the slightly more threatening team. Six shots, three on target. Seven shots now, three on target. And first highlight of the game comes to our comes to us. Wambasaka into Milinkovic Savic into Bruno into Kylian Mbappe. Bruno Fernandez into Mason Greenwood, who's inside the penalty area. He's probably going to check back onto his left. No, he's not. Cross comes in. Bruno Fernandez hits it against the man and goes behind for a corner to Manchester United. You know we're deadly from here. Up steps Luke Shaw to take the corner. And there's Varane. And Leno flaps that one over the crossbar for a corner on the other side. Here comes Luke Shaw again to deliver. And this time, Skriniar gets there and heads it over the crossbar. Very disappointing there. Two quick fire set pieces that are usually quite good for us. Not being it here. Here comes Luke Shaw again on that side. Varane this time heads over the crossbar. Looks like we're getting close on that side. It'll be interesting to see what happens if we get one on the other side and Bruno takes it. Looks like we've been the stronger side. They, they are edging possession with 53%. But the scoreline doesn't reflect the pattern of the game and the number of chances we've created to keep on going. And we'll get there eventually. I think we will. Genuinely do think we will. We've got options. Mbappe not playing the best. Down at a 6.4. We will have to continue to monitor that. But players like Mbappe and Ronaldo, they can turn up. As I said, we needed a corner on the other side. Bruno, Aubameyang gets that one clear. Uh, Ronaldo and Mbappe do have the ability to sort of turn up and make things happen. As Bruno agonizingly hits the crossbar slash post right in the stanch there. Going to let this highlight play out. Luke Shaw with the delivery. And there it is. It's been coming. We've been pushing on the set pieces. And Luke Shaw swings the ball in. And Rafael Varane gets in front of his man and heads that one past Leno in the goal. Giving us a real good chance here. Nice delivery from Luke Shaw. Varane's got like three Arsenal players around him. But gets there first. Heads it in. Ronaldo's got a knock. And the game's trying to tell me to put Pogba out there. And I'm definitely not putting Pogba out there. Marcus Rashford can come on on the left-hand side. We need to kind of not wrap Ronaldo in cotton wool, but we need to be aware of things. I'm going to make that change as well. Bring on Scott McTominay for Declan Rice in the defensive midfield spot. Going to give it a couple more minutes. And now I think it's time to... Now I either... Mm, see, I've got Greenwood who's tired and I've got Mbappe who's playing quite poorly. I'm going to take off Greenwood and we'll bring on Jaden Sancho. For the final 15. Looks like we've been much better in this second half. Obviously we got the breakthrough. Here's Leno with the ball in his hands though. A little bit of a scrappy one before that. Interesting to see what happens here. Leno as I said. Ball in his hands. Taking his time here. Hits it long. That should be ours. Skriniar beats Cavani in the air there. Goes out towards Rashford who does get there. There's a nice pass from Milinkovic Savic. Cuts back. Luke Shaw with the delivery maybe. No. Into Rashford. Milinkovic Savic on the end of the penalty area and that is a pal driver from the big serbian this will make it 11 games without defeat as the text commentary says there nice move from the boys here recycling the opportunity waiting for the moment and then you see the big serbian create the space and wallop what a fuck Oh, oh, almost saw there. What a strike that is. Right into the top corner. Leno, no chance. And that gives us a two-goal cushion, which should mean we see this game out. No problems. Again, it looks like another game where we're not conceding. This centre-back partnership of Skriniar and Varane is working very nicely. wan Saka on the right is very defensively solid. And Luke Shaw is providing assists left, right and centre. I am happy with the way you played. Well done, boys. And we go top of the league. Obviously, Liverpool do have a game in hand. But we are moving quite nicely. Ronaldo stubbed his toe. Poor him. Uh, he's out for six to nine days. Another assist for Luke Shaw. Well done, Lukey boy. Let's have a look at Luke Shaw this season. Two assists in six games from left back. Not too shabby at all. So in terms of the competition, as I said, we are top of the Premier League. A full quota of points thus far. Obviously, we've won the Community Shield. Third round of the Carabao Cup, we've got crew. We will be rotating again. But obviously, this year, we have that little bit more depth. Uh, Emirates FA Cup, we don't have to worry about because that we won't enter that until January. And then, obviously, Champions League against Dortmund, Ajax and Michelin. In terms of the schedule to bring you back for next episode, I think what could be quite interesting uh, would probably be... 
Uh, I'll wait until we play Man City later down in the later down in the campaign to bring you that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back for the game against Nottingham Forest. We would have had our first few games of the Champions League. We would have played Man City again, which will be a interesting one. But Nottingham Forest back in the Premier League, I think, is an interesting one to showcase to you guys. But that is where I'm going to leave things for today. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I'll be back. Same time tomorrow with another episode of this Manchester United FM 22 save. See you there, guys.